movies, one of the most influential forms of entertainment in the world. Over the decades, movies have changed the way we as a society act and think. From The Wizard of Oz to The Lord of the Rings, movies have inspired and amazed us throughout the ages. Sit back as we take you back to the 1860s, a time where the fate of our nation was in question as the Union and the Confederacy clashed in the battlefield in the bloodiest war in American history. April 12, 1861. The first shots of the Civil War were fired on Fort Sumter in South Carolina. As America fought against itself, there were numerous strides made not only in politics, but also in the field of technology. One of the most notable was the invention of the camera. The Civil War was the first in history in which a camera was used to document the horrors of war. These few powerful pictures snowballed into new forms of entertainment, such as cinema. In 1894, Thomas Edison introduced the world to his Kintograph, which was the first practical moving picture camera, and the Kintoscope. The Kintoscope was the first true moving projector. Short clips featuring acrobats and musical performers were some of the first movies to be demonstrated with the Kintoscope. Kintoscopes quickly gained popularity across the globe, especially in Europe. While Edison never thought of projecting his films, others were. In 1895, a man by the name of Robert Paul invented a projector, and little did he know that his projector would have an enormous impact in the movie industry. It was not long before movies became more than short clips and developed into a form of art that the world had never seen before. After the work of Thomas Edison and other inventors took off, the interest in films was almost exclusively European. But in 1914, war erupted in Europe, bringing their film industry to a sudden halt. While Europe's film industry suffered, America's flourished with the founding of Hollywood in California. Hollywood quickly became the world's cinema center, and silent movies from such stars as Charlie Chaplin began to appear in theaters across the country. Live action was not the only film genre gaining momentum. Animated shorts such as Steamboat Willie, which featured Mickey Mouse, were also becoming popular. As the 20s came to a close, Warner Brothers Studio began to introduce sound into their movies with the 1928 release of The Jazz Singer. This marked the end for the silent era in Hollywood and at the same time brought in a new one. In the 1930s, Hollywood was taking off with the introduction of movies such as King Kong, The Wizard of Oz, and Gone with the Wind. In 1933, King Kong innovated motion pictures with its amazing stop-motion special effects. The Wizard of Oz was also a major innovator of its time, as it was one of the first films ever released in color. The 1940s came along and brought World War II with them. The decade's most important films include Casablanca, It's a Wonderful Life, and Orson Welles' Citizen Kane, which is particularly important due to the way it revolutionized the way films were shot. The 1950s were marked by communist paranoia, which translated onto the big screen in movies such as War of the Worlds and The Manchurian Candidate. Epic biblical films were becoming popular in the decade, especially The Ten Commandments, Spartacus, and Ben-Hur. The most important thing that happened in the 50s was the invention of widescreen. Studios began to utilize widescreen format to draw the populace to the theaters. The move proved to be a success and led to more money being pumped into the industry. With the 60s came the decline of the studio system in Hollywood. Studios were being bought up by corporations, and independent filmmaking was becoming popular. The biggest films of the 1960s were Mary Poppins, The Sound of Music, and Westerns. Sergio Leone was a go-to guy for Westerns. His credits include Once Upon a Time in the West, The Good, The Bad, and the Ugly, and others. We're all familiar with the catchphrase, the name is Bond. James Bond from the classic 007 spy flicks, and in 1962, Mr. Bond made his first appearance on a silver screen. The 70s and the 80s marked the beginning of the blockbuster age of Hollywood. Movies were being made with huge budgets, and these classic films were usually made into trilogies. The first of these films was the Godfather trilogy, started by 1972's The Godfather. These films were about the rise and the fall of the Corleone family of mobsters in New York City. The Godfather and its sequel, The Godfather Part II, won numerous Oscars and made a lot of money in the box office. In 1976, a little film by Steven Spielberg came out that made everyone stay out of the water, Jaws. Jaws was a huge blockbuster and the first film to make over $100 million in the box office. Spielberg went on to be possibly the greatest director of all time. Spielberg also directed his own movie trilogy in the blockbuster age, the Indiana Jones trilogy. These films start Indiana Jones, the heroic archaeologist who is always in pursuit of mystical artifacts, all while battling the Nazis and evil cults at the same time. If an adventure had a name, it was Indiana Jones. 
Spielberg collaborated on Indiana Jones with another famous man from the blockbuster age, George Lucas. Lucas made his own movie trilogy, The Star Wars Saga. The first movie came out in 1976 and quickly became the highest grossing movie of all time. Star Wars became more than just a movie, for some it became a way of life. The 1990s were known as a digital age in film, as they added CG, or computer graphics, into movie making. James Cameron's Terminator 2 Judgment Day and Steven Spielberg's Jurassic Park were the first movies to add CG into films. Jurassic Park and its two sequels were huge movies because the dinosaurs looked incredibly realistic. CGI didn't only affect live action, but it also made a lasting impact on animated films with Disney and Pixar's Toy Story, the first ever feature-length CGI animated film. Disney and Pixar still dominate CGI animation with its hits like Monsters, Inc. and Finding Nemo. 1994 was a great year for film with Forrest Gump, Pulp Fiction, and The Shawshank Redemption, which all proved you don't need CGI or a big budget to make a film great. Looking into the not-so-distant future, we can already see a new innovation coming, 3D. James Cameron and Steven Spielberg are going to start releasing all of their new movies soon on a 3D format that gets rid of those goofy red and blue glasses. And starting in 2007, George Lucas is going to release updates of his original Star Wars trilogy in 3D. As we look into the future, and reflect back into the past, movies have and will continue to develop and grow in ways beyond our imagination.